Last time on Babs Bear Talk. I'm going to talk about you. Why not? Why am I bending now? This is what I'm doing today, guys. I'm doing a show for Bear Pantry Show. And I know you guys can't see what I'm stirring on the pot here, but I'm stirring some sugar, water, and butter to make a pat of choux to make churras. Because I'm going to be doing something with churras for the cooking channel. So once the butter is melted, I'm just going to add a cup of flour to it, put it here on the counter, and then work in my eggs. And what I'm going to do, well, do I want to show you guys what I'm going to do? I'll show you at the end. So how's your day going? It's Thursday. It's uh, June the 23rd. I can't believe this month is almost gone. My dad went home to Belize right now. One of his mentors died. Mentors from Boy Scouts Day. He was close with the guy, but I don't know. He wants to go do a memorial service for mommy in Belize. And us kids are not feeling it. I'm like, people in Belize don't deserve to mourn or grieve my mom. I'm talking about her family. I'm not talking about um, her friends. I suppose it'll bless her friends. She's got a lot of friends that are feeling so lonely and empty because, yeah, they, I mean, you can see in the video that I posted, the last video, Sugar, you were the one that asked me to put that up, you know, to show mommy at that giveaway because it would be at a happier time and so on and so on. Thank you for suggesting it. It did bless me. I cried a lot when I was doing it. The kids came in and cried behind me. And they're like, oh my God, grandma was so happy when she was giving though. And she sat with her friends and they were gossiping. And I don't have those friends' numbers. I only have this one lady, the darker lady, Miss Card. I have her number that I can text her and um, see how they're doing in the grief process. I'm not the only one grieving my mom. You know, like my Aunt Jenny, I feel sorry for my Aunt Jenny because she lost a brother and a sister within three months. And these are older brothers and sisters. I mean, her, my Aunt Lita, she lost a brother and a sister too, but my Aunt Jenny is like the baby of the, she's the baby of the girls. It's um, Uncle Les that passed away in 02, Jenny then Uncle Roger. Jenny's only 10 years older than I am. Roger's only six years older than I am. So, yeah. Yeah, when, when Jenny calls me in tears, I just try to lift her up because she lost two loved ones this year, just like I did. I lost an uncle and a mom. She lost a brother and a sister. I don't know what it would feel like if I were to lose a brother and a sister. You know, that's like on your level, your peers. So I'm adding the egg one at a time to make this, this dough for the churro. Churro is very easy to make. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease to work in the egg, though, and a lot of people don't like doing that. So Joe's at the shop, and he is waiting for them to pick up Kim's stuff. Um, I'm glad I was able to speak with you guys about that at the, at the channel, because I didn't want to inflame the situation, but I want you guys to know that I'm going through a lot. Not just losing my mom, but trying to get money in the house. And um, I'm grateful for everybody that's given me money throughout this ordeal. I know you're going to be richly blessed for it. Diana is not the only one that gave. My cousin Cindy gave. Leah's church. Well, the church gave, but it's really Leah. That <laughs> gave Leah and mom. And um, who else gave? My cousin Susie gave. A couple of my mom's friends gave. They sent it directly to me. Some of them just sent it to my dad or to the family, but they sent it to me. And then who else? Um, I know I'm forgetting somebody important. I shouldn't have started this. I shouldn't have started this. <laughs> so I have two eggs in my pate choux. I'm going to put my third egg. You know what my dream is, guys? I dream of like driving. And, and keep in mind, I don't like traveling, okay? So I don't know why I feel this road trip in my spirit. But I'd like to like rent a vehicle, right? Which is gonna be hard, because it's expensive to rent. Especially when you're putting a lot of miles on it. And I'd like to drive from here, Southern California, 
straight through to North Carolina to see Helen and Devon and Melinda and Jerry and cook with Helen and get some love from Helen. Helen, I'm talking to you. <laughs> On the way, I would stop at different people's now. Don't, don't hit me. Wherever you guys are, I think some people are in Texas, some, is, some people are in Florida. I don't know how we'd work it out. I don't know geography. But anyways, I need to get to North Carolina. And then when I'm done with Helen, go to New York, see Susie, see Cindy, and then fly back. Give the car back to the rental place and fly back. Now keep in mind, this is like a dream that just got birth yesterday, okay? Just something that I wanna do. Um, at first, I never thought of doing something like that because I needed to stay close to mommy. <sighs> so, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good idea? Terry, where are you located? Maybe we could stop and see you too. Maybe we could stop and see you too, huh? You and your beautiful wife. Oh my goodness, I've made such wonderful friends through doing YouTube. Even if I would have quit doing YouTube, guys, it would have all been worthwhile for the friendships that I've developed. You know, I reached out to another YouTuber yesterday. Let me tell you. Let me get my spoon. She's a beautiful girl. I wrote to her before wanting to do like a collaboration with her vlog channel because she does a few cooking videos there at her vlog now and again. And she never responded. So it's been a year and a half or so, so I reached out to her because she's not really even vlogging anymore. She puts up a video very infrequently, like once a month, once every six weeks. She puts up a nine minute video or so. She has another channel that she does things at too, like every three weeks. But I reached out to her and I just, I just told her to, to remain encouraged because it's hard doing YouTube. You don't get paid well enough for, for all the effort that you do. And sometimes you just feel abused by the people who watch you, not you guys, of course. And um, yeah, she, I don't know why she's quitting and maybe just, just became discouraged. Your life got too busy. So I just told her, I said, from another YouTuber to another YouTuber, you don't know me. Maybe, you know, you're bigger than me because your other channel has more subbies, whatever. But you don't know me. I don't want anything from you. I don't want a collaboration. Nothing. All I want is to reach out and say be encouraged you're doing a good job if you enjoy doing youtube try to find that joy again and continue that's all i said and i did it because i wanted somebody to do that you know to i would want somebody to do that for me if um i were falling by the wayside and they know that this is my passion and um i didn't um i quit you know i quit I'm so distracted, guys. I'll show you at the end what I'm doing. Let me finish this up and then I'll show you, okay? So this is what I'm doing. I'm making churro ice cream bowls. So I'm letting them stand in the freezer right now before I fry them. And then we're gonna put the scoop of ice cream in it. I saw it on Facebook and I simply had to try. I'm just showing you that this is the kind of stuff I get at my YouTube, whoever this person is. And then I have the option to just open the comment. For today. We'll let go through. And my options are here. I can either remove, report spam or abuse, or hide the user from the channel. If I report the spam or the abuse, it still stays there. Um, See, so I have my options here. Hate speech or graphic violence, harassment or bullying. So I believe it's harassment or bullying. And I already chose one. Okay, what did they say? This is harassing me. And then I report it. Report him. And, and keep in mind, he could be one of my mom's family members, those hateful people. This is the kind of stuff I get, and it doesn't make you feel good in the middle of your day when you're grieving. I mean, F you and your mom. That person must have a lot of bitterness and emptiness in them, you know? Let me show you what I'm doing, guys. I'm frying the churro bowls, okay? Oh, I set my camera. So, Deb, 
I'm glad you came back and told me that your dad was a preacher and that he wasn't the kind that expected something for free. I'm sorry that he got ripped off too and pay more for things. They, that's not fair either. But I'm not even talking about the preacher from my church. I've never had financial dealings with him. I'm talking about the church members. I introduced one of the richer church members to my graphic artist. Jenny used to work for a company, a small company. And I introduced this guy, and this guy was one of them when the preacher calls for a $10,000 seed, he's the first one in line writing a check. So either they were lying about that $10,000 or they had money. And these people did not pay. They were like the worst to get the money from. Jenny's boss's wife, who was the bill collector for the company, started to harass me. You know, she'd meet me in the grocery store and she'd say, hey, remember that one guy you uh, referred us from your church though? Uh, he didn't pay us. He owes us like $500. I'm like, well, you know, Diane, please don't do that to me in public because I just referred the guy. I don't, I don't manage the guy's money, you know? So it was just like crazy. And yeah, unfortunately, most of the church members, not all, most of the church members that I've had to deal with, in not just the one church, but other churches I've been to, they tend to feel like, oh, can you do this for me? And then you do it, it's like, okay, then thank you, bye. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing guys you guys are hanging with me today getting the bowls off um, I already jimmy them off with a knife okay I'm just keeping them in the freezer as I fry them one at a time so I gotta wash my pan now Yeah, so I'm frying them. Let me turn my fire down. This one might be a little bit too hot. Too hot, too hot. Wait, wait, wait. This one's kind of collapsing on me. Jada did that one and didn't give it a good infrastructure. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put powdered sugar on the ones that I already fried, okay? So this is how I'm spending my Friday evening, guys. Looking at all these reports that mommy did for me in the Belize newspaper and the Guardian. This is the one that's been spread all over Facebook. They did this in 2013 when he ha when she had the Christmas party. See her right there? That kid that's getting the gift is actually Carla's kid, my mom's good friend. I didn't realize that until Carla told me she saw it on Facebook. And um, that's the one that we did a collaboration with my show and, and my mom. This is what she gave me for my Christmas gift last year. This cost her $400 to pay this newspaper to write a report on me about my show. I guess she was just showing how proud she was of me. Her friend Carla contacted me today through Facebook and she's all like, your mom was so proud of you. Her friend Dorothy called me from Florida. She, Dorothy was with her to the bitter end. She's like, your mom was so proud of you. The beautiful thing about that is I knew. Nobody had to tell me I knew that my mom was proud of me. And I did everything that I could for my mom so I have no guilt. So whatever tears I shed right now, it's just normal human nature. It's not out of regret. Mm -mm. <laughs> John and I are going to go to the gym because that's helping a lot with the grieving process when that adrenaline gets going or whatever gets going when you're at the gym. <laughs> oh, I feel better. I was just going through all this stuff right here. Mm -mm -mm. It's Saturday afternoon. Joe, what time is it, babe? What time on the clock behind me? After five in the evening, the lighting right here looks gorgeous to the eyes. I don't know how it's gonna look when I pull the clip off of the camera, but that's the main reason why I don't vlog too much from home because I can't find good lighting spots. This house has a lot of windows, but still the sun doesn't come in at the right time. You're not at the right place. So the bathroom is still the best place and the kitchen, of course, because I can turn on my lamps. But anyways, um, not having a bad day today, had a really really awful day yesterday if you hear some noise in the background we bought a new shower head at Costco and Joe's opening it up right now I had a really bad day yesterday because the pictures came back from the photographer my mom's funeral pictures and they had the one package had the um, church and that whole part the next package had the burial and it still has their watermark and everything on it because they're just showing us what the pictures look like and it's up to us what we're gonna buy so I'm waiting for my sister to buy first because she said she was going to make photo books for all four kids. My older brother, myself, my sister, and my younger brother. 
I have a feeling those books are going to be super expensive from the photographer or photographers or videographers. I'm thinking upwards of 150 bucks a piece. I could be wrong, but I know that I can get those books at Costco for like 40 bucks because I got my vacation book there and it's gorgeous. So let's see what she does first. And then if it's too expensive, I'm going to buy what photos I want and I'm going to make my own book and put it together that way. So, but the pictures were beautiful. They were stunningly beautiful. Um, there were like a couple of them that were so gorgeous. It could be somebody's album cover for their music, except my poor mom was in that box, you know? So when the pictures came, Joe was outside watering Alana. I had had a pretty good day of not crying all day. Really and truly, I've not been crying all day though. I would tell you guys if I were. I've been crying a couple times a day. Like when I first wake in the morning and it hits me. And then like around six in the evening, it hits me again. So anyways, my sister sent the link to my phone and she's like, don't share the link anywhere because there's there are four pictures in there with mom in her casket that I don't want blasted all over Facebook because it's that if that little heifa, my uncle's daughter, because she's nothing to me, if she gets my mom's dead box pictures and she starts blasting it on Facebook saying anything derogatory, I am going to reveal all their secrets. All. So, anyways, we didn't want that getting out. Plus, we didn't get permission from the photographers yet. We don't have the freedom to share all of that yet so she said did you get the link did you go look at the pictures I'm like no I, I have to prepare my mind mentally for this because I don't want to cry again and she goes well no matter when you look at it you're gonna cry so you might as well go get it over with and so I went to go look and Joe's outside watering the lawn and at first I was good we saw the church it was beautiful we're outside we're marching in the bagpiper we're all sitting my cousins are reading the scriptures that I chose Jada singing you could see you know she's crying when she's singing but I still held up I read the eulogy they had all these gorgeous I didn't even see these people you know I saw them but I didn't see them you know what I mean <laughs> they were in there but they were so quiet they were so quiet the way they just kind of shot through a door there sh shot over there you know even the flash you know on their stuff was not like even jarring or anything Joe so anyways um the thing that let me fall apart was when we went by, the pass by to see her in the box the last time. And you saw my dad's face and then Rory's face and then my face and Jada's face, my sister, my Aunt Jenny, her girls. And it just kind of hit me because my Aunt Jenny girls, her, my Aunt Jenny's girls have always treated my mom really, really, really good. They really love my mom. And they love my mom the way I love my Aunt Jenny, you know? and. I told my aunt Jenny, I said, you know, that's their favorite aunt, right? And then she goes, that's their only aunt. And I said, what do you mean? They have Aunt Lita, which is Aunt Jenny's sister. And she goes, well, they weren't raised with her. She went home to Belize for 15 years. And I said, but your husband has three sisters. And then she said, well, the younger one, that's my age. She's like 48, 49. Um, I think she's 50 already. She's not, not so much of an aunt to them, but more like a peer. And she goes, the older two, we don't count as family. And so they've only had your mom all their lives. And I was like, wow, no wonder they feel it so badly. I mean, they were the first ones there when my mom passed and weeping, just, just like I was weeping, they were weeping. Who am I to subtract from their grief just because it's my mom? You know, some family members are trying to do that right now where they're like, well, why is she crying like that? It's not her mom. And I was like, they feel the same pain we do. My mom was influential. She was an influencer, you know? So anyways, we all prepared. My Aunt Jenny looked at the pictures right before midnight before she went to bed and they all bawled and they went to bed. And I'm watching and I see that part by the box and I just lost it and I cried and I cried and I was crying like it just happened. I was like, <laughs> like that. And then Joe came in from watering the grass and he's like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I'm like, the pictures, the pictures came back, the pictures. And so he took the phone and started looking at the pictures. And then I dried my tears and I put the pictures on the computer and I came back and I watched it with Jada and with the boys and with Joe and with Colin and I didn't cry anymore. I enjoyed the pictures at that point and they were so beautiful. At some point you guys are going to see them, but maybe I can like do a sneak peek right now. Maybe put two pictures, two of them that I really, really love in there for you guys to see. I don't know. I hope I don't get in trouble. But anyways, 
that was my day yesterday. I cried till I got a headache. And today I've had a really, really blessed day. John and I went to Costco and I was able to chitter chatter with people in there about skincare and stuff like that. And I met a Belizean lady in there. Her name is Barbara, just like me. And um, when I told her who my dad was, because my dad has the grocery store, so a lot of people know um, who he is first. And she, and he, she goes, are you the one, the, the one that does the cooking show? I'm like, yeah, that's me. And so we exchanged numbers. She's going to come cook with me one of these days soon, probably in the next couple of weeks. She was a re really nice lady. And then um, what else did I do when I was out there, Joe? Oh, Jada's little friend. Jada has a friend named Alex, a girl. Her mom just got diagnosed like a month ago with uh, stage three cervical cancer. And she got her first chemo yesterday. And so I sent uh, Jada went hiking with the little girl and I said, bring the child here so I can talk with her. And I spoke with her and I was a, I was able to give her so much information and so much comfort. And I told her, do not take this lying down. Let your mommy fight. And I, I didn't realize how much knowledge I had with what my mom went through and things that we would do differently. Like for instance, there's a drug that they gave mommy the first time she had cancer. And the thing does that. I heard something like a motor just now. The shower head does that. Oh, you blew into it. Oh, you blew into it. Yeah, I said there's a drug they wanted mommy to take in 2012 when the cancer first came, and it's called Megase. But they never told mommy the importance, the importance, importance of the drug. I can't talk today. <laughs> Too much pepper on my tongue. Um, they just told her that it was to spark her appetite. Well, she had appetite. They didn't tell her that the Megase is also known to um, fight cancer cells and put them in submission. It's kind of like Viagra. It's for your heart first, and then it does the other thing. It's kind of like that. So um, I told her if they give mommy Megase, make sure she takes it. Uh, you get those tumor markers each and every after each and every chemo. When you go back for the next one, you get those darn tumor markers. You make sure they're coming down because if they're not coming down, you pack you pack mommy up and take her to the city of hope. Don't worry if you don't have no insurance because they'll say if you have an HMO, they won't take you. But the, on the commercial, they say they don't turn anybody away. And if you show up there, they will take you. Don't play games with this. You know, this is serious. Go get the soursop leaf. Go, um, they don't know it as that is guanabana or something for them because uh, she's Mexican, right? That's the Spanish word for it. Go get the noni juice. Don't cause mommy any stress. Tell mommy do not sit on the couch and lament because when you sit, you get weak. Even if you just sit and exercise your arms and your legs. And, and she's like, you should put out a video telling people what to do if they're fighting cancer. I'm like, you know what? I should. I really should put a separate video somewhere at one of my sites telling you what to do if you come down with cancer. And for right now, for me to prevent me from getting cancer, I'm going to go buy me a sawasap tree, plant in my yard and start sucking down that leaf. And I'm going to go buy noni juice at the swap meet because they sell it there. And I'm going to start drinking my noni juice again. I'm going to cut out all these sugars, which I, I've been cutting them out a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time anyways. But I'm cut out everything, get back into my full, full nutrition and health cut out all these grains stuff like that and I'm gonna make myself well well I'm not sick right now but I'm gonna make sure I don't get sick so in the, in the meanwhile Joe has turned off his TV volume for a while for me to talk with you guys I like this kind of vlog where I just sit and chit chat with you guys but I'm gonna go pull the clips off of my camera right now I did a video today that's gonna go up like the week after the 4th of July the one that goes up on the 27th is for the 4th of July the one that goes up on the 4th of July is just gonna be whatever we're doing here it's gonna be more of a vlog video but I'm gonna show how Joel makes his barbecue chicken or his ribs or whatever he's gonna make and so that's gonna be edited in real time one camera boom 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 kind of like a vlog then this next one I did today is gonna go up the week after the 4th of July and then that way I'm getting caught up to where I don't fall behind because we have a lot of work at the shop and then I'm gonna like think of another video for the week after. Uh, yeah, we're gonna work it guys, we're gonna work it. I love you guys so much for being in my life. <sighs> I don't know where I would be without all of you. I really don't. God has prepared me for this valley that I'm in more so than I know because he certainly has given me good people like you guys. All of you that, you know, that stuck with me throughout this, all the beautiful comments you wrote. And if you see that I put up a vlog and I don't come back and answer your comment on the same day, it's because I have a lot to do at the shop. But I see them and they uplift me and I smile and then I go back and go, okay, okay, I'm going to go answer Terry. I'm going to go answer Galuk Galuki. I'm going to go answer Sandra. So still put your comments. I don't go more than 24 hours before I answer you. And then I look forward to answering you guys, okay? So let me let Joe go put his shower head on. And um, let me go back and 
edit some more. This one right here when Troy's way ahead of us as we're bringing in the casket and um, Colin and Jada said this looks like somebody rap, somebody's rap album cover. This was so gorgeous. Oh, go back. Let me say hi. <laughs> Look at that big smile though. You mean the red button is on? Yeah. Okay. Okay guys, see I'm doing it. Back on the boat. Splash. Splash? Yeah. 